Good morning from La Lina. Now those of you who watched my last video will know that yesterday I was over in Gibraltar and then stayed here on the Spanish side of the border last night. Now we all know that Gibraltar is a British overseas territory. Well today we are going to go and explore a Spanish overseas territory It's somewhere I never knew anything about. It's called Ceuta and it's in Africa. Now that might be on a different continent but it's not actually that difficult to get to. We just need to go from here in La Lina around to Algeciras, that's the port town. And from there we can catch a fast catamaran ferry that will take us across the Straits of Gibraltar in about an hour. And then we can explore a brand new destination for the channel. Man, I absolutely love the bus station here in La Lina. It's very Spanish. Of course, we've got the destinations painted on the walls. So we're here in La Lina. You can go all the way up into the hills to Ronda. That's a beautiful place. But we're going to Algeciras today. And you can also get the bus on round the coast towards Tarifa. Puedo comprar un billete para Algeciras. Es mejor ida lo mismo. Ah, vale, gracias. All right, so I'll buy the ticket on the bus. Now we've just got to find the bus. Okay, we've arrived in Algeciras, but I've got to find the port and my phone's just stopped working, so we've not got much time. I guess the first thing is to find the sea. If we can find that, then I'm sure we can find a ferry. Right, I can see some boats, so that's a good thing, and it does say Puerto de Algeciras, so I think we're in the right place. Part of the stress though is that I don't have my ticket yet. The website did say check in online, but the website's also sh so I haven't been able to do that. And I'm worried there's gonna be a big queue to get tickets, but we'll soon find out. This is kind of a weird setup. Normally I'd expect to see big branding for the ferry company, in my case Tras Mediterranea, but I don't see anything. I guess they all just leave from the same place. I hope so. Right, this looks a bit more promising. I'm seeing the place name as well, Theuta. Mente de Vietis. Okay, so that wasn't the right place, that was just ticket sales, but then when I went in there I realised that my reservation's on my phone, my phone's not working, but it's fine. The guy said, just go over here, show them your passport, and everything will be okay. Right, sorry, I've got my ticket for today and he was saying that I can come back on any ferry tomorrow, so that just takes all the stress out of it. I tried to go through just now, but I'm too early for my departure, so that's good. I can go and get myself something to eat and drink, and boy, do I need it. Hola, hey, un sandwich numero dos y una lata de Coca Cola. Gracias. Right, I've got my ridiculously expensive ferry terminal lunch. Look at this. 11 euro. Here 
here we go. We've got a nice big photo of where we've been and where we are. So we've got Gibraltar there. That's where I stayed last night, La Ligna. Then we've got the bus all the way around here. And we've ended up here, I think. This place is a bit of a dive, to be honest. And even in October, it's just stiflingly hot. When I look at the buses with the curtains, I'm so glad I'm not stuck on there. I came outside again just to see if I could get a look at the boats and the port, but there's absolutely nothing, just concrete. There is a big heliport over there though, I guess that's where they land right on top. That'd be nice to see, but there's not much going on at the moment. Okay, we're through security and now we just need to wait in this area here. There is nothing of note at this ferry terminal, inside or outside, so don't be arriving here too early, okay? Hola. Gracias. Gracias. This is a ferry with hundreds of seats and they're all kind of like airline style seats but one thing it doesn't appear to have is outdoor access not that I've found yet anyway Okay, so I've found one outdoor area right up the bow but you're not going to see much out here down there just as the guy was closing it up but I think he was saying that there is another place at the back of the ship we will see nah I just asked you can't go outside the guy at the front must have been mistaken maybe he thought I had a premium ticket or something I will have one of those tomorrow but I still doubt whether there's any outdoor access on this ferry because I can't get outside all of my views leaving this fascinating port are just through some dirty windows and they also seem to have a vinyl coating on them I guess for the sun you know me, the most important thing for me in a ferry trip is outdoor access and here we have got zero, nada. Don't get me wrong, the seats are good, they're really comfy, but I just wish I was out there. I just had a wee peek through the premium class door and it appears you can go outside when you're in premium. There's a little deck at the back which is open, looks really nice and I would say it's definitely worth the extra tenner just to get out there. And I'll be doing that tomorrow so make sure you stay tuned, that'll still be on this video. It's funny but the sleek look of this ferry, I was expecting it to really put the foot down at some point as soon as we left Gibraltar. But we seem to have just been ambling along at about 10 knots the whole way, but we're almost in Africa. Señores pasajeros, el capitán y su tripulación les agradecen que hayan navegado en este buque. Ladies and gentlemen, the captain and crew would like to thank you. We hope you have had a pleasant journey and hope to see you Right, here we go. Let's see if it's any hotter in Africa today than it was in Europe. We're about to find out. Oh no, it is. You know what, now we're here, I think the first thing I'll do 
is try and find my hostel for tonight. It is just a hostel, but I think I have my own private room and bathroom, which would be nice. So here we are in the streets of Ceuta, if I'm saying it right. It's nice to be in Africa and still in Spain. My first impressions are this is an awfully grand place, a green oasis filled with statues everywhere and it looks like we're just going to pass through the city walls, the defences, very historic looking. Pigeons! Oh man, this is absolutely incredible, look at the place! I don't think I'm going to be able to stop filming. This place is absolutely gorgeous. I don't think I've seen a square as perfect as this anywhere. And they certainly don't do lamp posts like they used to, do they? Of course, this isn't the only Spanish enclave in Africa. Further along the coast, you've got another wee town. I think it's called Melilla. Really want to go there now. And then you've got the more obvious ones like the Canary Islands, Tenerife, Lanzarote, Gran Canaria. Oh, Hercules. I'm not sure the significance of the big fella here, but the statues of him around the island. And I'm pretty sure I saw one in Gibraltar as well. Okay, so I'm looking for Hostal Central, Paseo del Rebellin, 15. Oh, no way, this is Paseo del Rebellin. Wow, that has never happened to me before. How lucky is that? Puerta abierta. Tengo una reserva para una noche. Ya he pagado el pasaporte. Gracias. Una habitación individual. Sí, sí, claro. Yeah, it seems like a nice little place. We are looking for room number 18. And there we go. Ah, this is absolutely perfect. When they said hostel, I wasn't expecting this much. Let's have a look outside. Oh. I'm like a prisoner. It'll give me some air though, I suppose. Despite wanting nothing more than to just sink into that bed, time's a bit limited here, so I'm back out on the streets and we'll go for a wee wander. The things I do for you. Look at this place, even the McDonald's is beautiful. There's this massive water park here, which looks incredible. The pools are empty at the moment, but that's just as well. I don't have my trunks. Well, we found the beach and I thought I might be able to see over to Gibraltar, but it's quite a hazy day today. Can't see much at all. I could make my way up the hill, but I'm feeling tired and quite happy to just hang about the beach. There's lots of nice sea glass here, I'll let you have a look. Ah, 
Ah, there's a wee heliport here. I guess that's linked to the one we saw earlier at the ferry terminal in Algeciras. That's a quick hop across to Europe, isn't it? I had a wee look inside the terminal there and there were departures to Alcatiras, but also to Malaga. Maybe we need to try and hop on one of those at some point. The problem, of course, in a place like this for a fair Scotsman like myself is the heat and humidity. It's an absolute killer. So I think that's me done for today. I'll head back to the room, tuck myself away with the air conditioning on full. Hasta mañana. Good morning folks, it's Thursday, I've got a couple of hours until my ferry departure. I was going to get a bus somewhere, but then when I was looking at the bus stops, there's zero information on them and I've no idea where I'm going, and I'm a bit short of time for that. And also I keep forgetting in Spain and public transport, you still have to wear a face mask, and I don't have one with me, so that idea is out the window. So let's just go for a wee wander, maybe get some breakfast. There's a nice marina and harbour walls there, but... All these places seem to be fenced off. I can't get anywhere near them. There's so many flowers and plants everywhere and there's guys just working away in the flower beds. So nice to see. Nah, I might be through the first gate, but this is as close as I'm going to get to the marina because there's another fence. But we'll keep on trying. Maybe we can get round to this harbour wall. Bear with me for the return ferry journey in premium class, that's coming right up. Now, like I said yesterday, I don't think there's much difference between standard and premium, but as long as I can get some outdoor deck space to take some video clips, that'll be well worth the money for me. Now, that will be in about two hours in real time, so in video time, you've probably got about a minute to wait. Around here behind the fence, we've got all the big boats. Absolutely amazing. Now, am I allowed through here? Well, the fences are down, so we'll go for it. Ah, so that must be the fuel station for your boat. Just tie up alongside and fill up. And you've got this really cool building in front of us. No idea what it's for. Unfortunately, as you see here, traffic... Sorry for the helicopter noise, but what I was saying was, unfortunately, as you can see here, trash isn't just a UK problem. I was thinking last night about all those helicopters taking off and landing, and I guess it makes sense when you're in an overseas territory that doesn't have its own airport, but you're only 10 minutes from the mainland of your home country. Ah, it makes all the sense in the world. Is that your brother? Can I take you home? Oh, I tell you what, this is a good place to lose weight because as soon as the heat starts to build, I'm instantly not hungry. So I think I'll just skip breakfast and try and get a wee snack on board the ferry. I'm sorry I've not had longer to show you more of this place, but it's time to get that backpack on again and head to the ferry. Mira las palomas. Okay, maybe just a wee breakfast to go. I just can't resist the freshly squeezed orange juice in Spain. Bye, buddy. There we go, that's us all booked in for the boat to Alcatiras. I've got about 45 minutes, so I'm just gonna head outside again and see if I can get a view of any of the boats coming in. I hope it's not like the ferry terminal at the other side where I can see absolutely nothing, but I suspect it probably is.
Nah, there's nothing to see here. Right around the coast, there's all these big secure fences. And I think I can work out why they're there. Wherever you travel around the world, there's always a wee liquid reminder of home and look how cheap it is. A litre of Grant's, €8.75 and they throw in a glass with that too. I got a bit of a grill in there about whether I'd been to Morocco, but that's us through security now and ready to step on board. So this is premium class. It doesn't look that much different, but we've got the holy grail, outdoor space. Oh, this makes such a difference, and not just for the heat, but you know, when you're making YouTube videos. And we're off, and who knows, maybe we'll be able to show you some better video clips on this route back. It's only when you're able to get outside that you realise the pace is actually pretty decent. Gracias. Ah, vale. So there we go, that's us experience both standard and premium class with Trust Mediterranean. Which one would you choose? I would say if you just want the journey to pass, sit down in a comfy seat, read a book, standard class is absolutely perfect. But if like me, you appreciate a wee bit of outdoor space, you can see better views, and you also get a snack and a drink thrown in as well. The upgrade price isn't that much, I paid about 10 quid extra, and it's completely worth it. 10 times out of 10, I would do that again. So anyway folks, thank you so much for watching today, and I'll see you again next week. Bye bye.